Over the years, I've done some videos talking about how great both NFC and QR codes can be. They're both extremely powerful tools that can really help speed up a bunch of processes for you, whether that is things like Home Assistant and doing triggers within your Home Assistant application, or whether it's just bringing up websites, attaching to Wi-Fi, things like that. They can be extremely handy. And today, I wanna go ahead and show you some of the ways that I'm using it or planning to use it in my house. Now, NFC tags and QR codes can both be used for a lot of the same things within your house, but they both have their own benefits. For example, NFC tags are great because they can be rewritten. So once you go ahead and use them for one thing, if you decide you wanna change that up and use it for something else, it's very easy to go ahead and make those changes whenever you want. Whereas a QR code, once you go ahead and print that QR code, it can never change if it is a physically printed out QR code or even an etched QR code or anything like that, you can't change what it's linking to anymore. It's permanently linked. But the nice thing about QR codes is that they can be used across all platforms almost the exact same way. So whether you're on iOS or Android, they can be used the same way. You don't need any additional applications. You don't need to configure anything else. You can just set up a QR code and anybody can point their camera at it and it's gonna work. So QR codes are extremely handy for that purpose as well. The other nice benefit about NFC is that you can hide it pretty well because you don't need line of sight for NFC to work. You can put it behind things, you can put it under things, you can put it behind a QR code if you want to so that if someone wants to use their camera to scan a QR code, they can do that. If they wanna go ahead and tap their phone on it to use the NFC, they can do that too, which is what I did with my Wi-Fi in one of those previous videos. So first off, let's go over some of the ways that I'm currently using NFC in my house. Now, these aren't fully fledged out. I've just slowly been getting some of these things done, but I am looking to do more and more of this as time goes on. If you have any suggestions on ways that I should be using NFC in my house, please let me know down in the comments. But let's go ahead and check out how I'm using NFC. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show off is I actually have a NFC sticker behind this wall plate. I took the screws off already. But I have an NFC sticker in here and this triggers one of the lights in my room that does not have a switch. So if I go ahead and tap up against that, the lamp turns on. So if I go ahead and tap it again, light turns off. So pretty handy for a light that's not on a switch really find it handy a lot of people will use this for scenes so you know if you want to have a particular scene where turns a light on opens up your blinds does one thing does another thing it's a super easy way to trigger a whole bunch of stuff at once using that so that's pretty cool and then another thing i have in my bedroom here is i have a night trigger so what this will do is it will go ahead and trigger a night automation that I have set up where it will go ahead and turn off all lights in the house if I've left any on that are on smart switches. It'll also make sure that the front door is locked and it'll make sure that the garage door is closed in case I forgot to do that as well. So pretty handy little one. Um, you know, a lot of the smart assistants have their own versions of this by a voice command, but I like having a little NFC sticker. I could just tap my phone on it and then throw my phone onto the charger. Now, one that I talked about in a previous video about Homebox is that I use it for storage purposes and I'm slowly updating everything and kind of get everything done, but I have quite a few boxes of stuff. I still have to kind of go through it and organize it, but for the ones that I have organized, I have the stickers on there so that I can go ahead and tap it. Come on, it's hard to align when I'm not looking directly at it. There we go. And we have the Home Depot box, and it's got a whole bunch of keyboards in there. And I've got them all listed as to what they're doing, like, you know, what kind of switches they are, what kind of boards they are, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty handy. And then I have this one up here. And this one has a whole bunch of headphones in it. So it makes things quite a bit easier. Uh, I plan on doing this a lot with with the big totes. I have much larger versions of these. And having these on there makes it really easy 
so that I don't have to dig through everything. And then for all my computer stuff, since I have so much of it everywhere, um, it'll really help me kind of just figure out where things are. And then if I do need something in particular for a video or what have you, I could just go ahead and search it in Homebox and it'll tell me exactly which box it's in, which is nested within a room. So, for example, this one is in the spare bedroom in yellow small one, which is right there, right? So it makes things really handy. And another really cool use for NFC stickers is actually using them to track maintenance of things around your house. So, for example, I've got this NFC sticker here. And if I go ahead and tag it, it is going to reset a timer that I have set up in Home Assistant that will remind me to, re to uh, replace my furnace filter, or at least check it. And every time I go ahead and scan this, it'll reset that timer. You can do it with a whole bunch of things. You can do it with taking out the trash. You can do it with checking filters. You can do it with, um, you know, checking your seals on your doors whole bunch of endless possibilities. I will leave a link to the template that someone had set up that I used for this. Really easy to get going and it's a really cool way to kind of set up some repeatable reminders. So as we mentioned, QR codes are fantastic for sharing Wi-Fi. I did a whole video about sharing Wi-Fi and I did it with these little wood panels that I had made for me so that I can easily share Wi-Fi with anybody that comes to my house. But we can also go ahead and print out QR codes for said Wi-Fi. For example, maybe I want to leave one in the bedroom so that if people who are sleeping in my spare guest bedroom want to connect to Wi-Fi with a tablet or their laptop or what have you, they have the password and they can also scan a QR code, which is super handy. And one easy way to do that is to use something like a portable printer. Now, Nelco sent over this little portable thermal printer uh, it prints stickers but you don't have to use them as a sticker and i think it's a perfect way to go ahead and use this so i'm just going to turn it on all right so we got it there we're connected i actually have a template i set up for the wi-fi so we're going to go ahead and open that up and there we go i can go ahead and press print and we're just going to do one copy for now actually let's do yeah let's do one copy for now go ahead and print that it's going to go ahead and print that out on a thermal sticker. And now I just got to rip it. And there we go. I can go ahead and leave this in the spare bedroom if I want to, because it is a sticker. I can go ahead and maybe stick it to like the inside of a door or something like that, you know. Um, but I could just give it to them like this. They can go ahead and scan it. It has the password underneath it as well. So, oh, and I misspelled Wi-Fi. I just put Y-F. Oopsies. Uh, but yeah, makes it really easy for them to connect. So Wi-Fi is probably one of the best overall ways for QR codes to be used in your house. Makes life really, really easy. But there are a few other ways that you can use it as well. So another way I've actually used the QR codes in my house is I have a little QR code here set up for my album collection because this little crate here is full and I can't fit any more albums in here. So I have some more albums downstairs and this link, this QR code will link to my collection on Discogs and allow anybody who's over to check my whole album collection. So if there's something that's not here that they'd like to listen to, they at least know that I have it and that I can go grab it and go put it on. But uh, I thought that was a really cool way of using it as well. Another way I've used it is I've actually printed a QR code for Monopoly. Um, we lost the instructions. I always forget the short game rules that it mentions there. I always forget them, but it, they are handy to have. So I printed a QR code sticker and stuck that to the inside of the box so that whenever we go ahead and pull up Monopoly and if we want to use the short game rules, we just go ahead and scan that QR code. It gives us all the rules. We can choose shorthand rules, uh, modified rules, all that kind of stuff makes it really easy. So if you have older board games and stuff like that, it's a pretty cool way uh, to get easy access to those rules. And one thing I've meant to do, but I haven't actually had the time to do it yet, is setting up a QR code that links to my little patch panel spreadsheet that tells me where all of these things are going to 
uh, just to make my life a little bit easier. The labels are super small and I move things around so I didn't want to use the labels. I figured a spreadsheet was a really good way to do it. I have a whole little spreadsheet here that tells me you know what number it is on the patch panel, where it's going, is it PoE or not, and then what switch I have it plugged into. So I thought this was a really good one. So what we can do is we can go ahead and really quickly create another QR label with the Nelco. So if I go ahead and go to share and export, we're going to copy that link and create a new one. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the text. We don't need the text since I'm going to know what this is going to be for. We're going to go ahead and do our QR code. And then the QR code, we're just going to go ahead and paste in the link for our Google Drive. And then once we have that there, we're going to make this one bigger. Fit it nice in the middle like that. And I think that looks pretty good. And then from there, we can just go ahead and go to print. And then we can press print. And give me one sec to go ahead and rip this off. And I'm probably going to trim off the sides here a little bit just to make it a little bit smaller. So went ahead, cut it down a little bit smaller so that there wasn't a lot of excess white but you do have to have a white border or else cameras won't pick it up properly we're going to go ahead and put it right in here so give me one sec and there we are so we can go ahead and now scan this with our phone and we got our list so now if i were near the patch panel i don't have to go ahead and dive through my google drive i can just go ahead and scan the qr code so Perfect. So another idea I had was to actually combine the two things together, kind of like what I did with the little Wi-Fi wood uh, displays that I have where it allows people to either scan the QR code or tap it for NFC. I thought maybe I can do that with the printer, print a little QR code, stick it on one of the NFC stickers. So I did that. I printed this little 4-1 cut them into little small pieces and I can go ahead and attach it to the sticker. Now, did I line it up very well? No. Does it do serve its purpose? 100%. And now if I want to, I can actually just put these in the guest bedrooms. And then if they have an Android phone, they can just tap their phone on it. If they have an iOS, they would have to scan the QR code, but they're good to go. So I think this is actually a pretty cool solution too. Now, if you're interested, the Nelco PM230 that I used in this video is $33, although there is a current promotion on there for an extra 5% off, which is nice. And this printer does range in price. I've seen it go below $30 as well, so keep your eye out on it. But even at its full price of $33, I think it's providing a lot of value. The Nelco has been great for me. I have been using it almost entirely just for printing out QR codes lately, but you can use it for a bunch of other things like printing out barcodes, printing out labels, printing out pictures. The possibilities are pretty endless. It prints really quickly. It prints high quality considering it's on thermal paper. And for the QR codes, especially for me, it has been great. So if you wanna do a bunch of QR codes, this is a really good solution for you. Put some stickers all around the house, do whatever you need to, a great option. I will have a link down in the description below for the Nelco PM230. You can go ahead and check it out for yourself. I will also have some links down in the description where you can go ahead and pick up some of the NFC stickers or NFC tags. They come in stickers, they come in little pucks, they come in cards. There's a whole bunch of different form factors and I will leave links for all of those down in the description below where you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. With all that said, I really do hope you found this video helpful and if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. It's been really fun trying to find new ways to use the NFC stickers QR codes and all that kind of stuff around my house just to make things a lot easier. It, it's, it really does speed things up, especially with Home Assistant where I can just trigger things really, really quickly. And I'm slowly learning more and more Home Assistant things, setting up new automations. And as I'm sure as I continue to do this, I'm gonna set up more and more NFC stickers around the house to go ahead and trigger more and more of those things. So really excited to see how that grows. If you enjoy the video, please go ahead and like, but if you are interested in those future videos, go ahead and, and get subscribed. I am really excited to do more and more Home Assistant stuff. It's been a great tool. It's been a lot of fun for me to learn. 
I've got some great ideas from people in my Discord and on my streams. And so I really do think I'll be doing more and more videos with Home Assistant in the future. So get subscribed if you do want to go ahead and check those out. Big thanks to my patron sponsors and big thanks to you for watching to the end of this video. If you want to see any other videos where I talk about all the automations, the NFC stickers, the QR codes, Home Assistant, all that kind of stuff, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.